All right, so I'm gonna be doing a quick video on this Toshiba laptop. Um, this is a Toshiba Satellite S55T-B5233, okay? So we're gonna be replacing the battery as well as the hard, upgrading the hard drive to an SSD. So to remove the battery, you just wanna remove these two screws here. So actually the old battery is this one. And I don't know if there's an actual model number for this. Here we go. There's a small, the model number's like on this sticker. It's really hard to see. Um, so if you want, check yours. But this is PA5195U-1BRS. Um, you can also just look for a battery for the um, S55T model uh, because they do have compatible models. So once you remove the two screws, you can just pull the battery out like this, okay? Just like that. As you can see, this battery, the top is black instead of this champagne-ish, uh, silvery, goldish color. Um, so yeah, there are different models and you can use either one. It doesn't really matter. I couldn't really find this color, so I ended up just getting the black one. All right, so that's how you remove the battery. To put it back, of course, you just slide it back on, but I'm gonna leave it off for now. Um, once we do that, you wanna remove all the rest of the screws. So there's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I believe. Four, five, six, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's actually ten, so I missed one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so those ten screws and then these two. So you have to remove all of them to take the bottom cover off. After you take all the screws out, you can go underneath. I just use my fingernails or you can use a pry tool. These things will normally be kind of like clipped in place, but you just get in between like this and kind of pop it up, okay? Just go around, pop this whole thing up. It's pretty simple, straightforward, okay? Just go around. The part where there's the ports, you kind of be careful not to damage the ports, but just go all the way around. Oops, like that. Lifting it up while kind of prying it out. I just use my fingernails like that, okay? Then you kind of like wiggle it and um, get this piece out. This part will get stuck a little bit here. So you might have to lift it up and then go underneath and pull this up as well, okay? Just like this, okay? All right, there we go. So now we got the cover off, comes out like that. I already cleaned the inside and I upgraded to an SSD already, um, but I'm just gonna go over quickly uh, what's inside. So you got the RAM, you just slide these two tabs out to the side here like this. So here you can see the RAM is eight gigs PC3L-12800S. So you can put any um, PC3L-12800S model, whatever size you want, two gigs, four gigs, eight gigs. If they have 16 gigs, you can put that. I don't think they have 16 gigs, so I think this is already maxed out. The charge port looks like it broke before and then we use some hot glue to keep it from pushing the charge port into the laptop and it just unplugs here. You would just grab this and wiggle it to pull it out. Got the wireless card. A lot of these things, I'm not going to show how to take them out. If you want to see how to take out these types of connectors, uh, you can watch my other videos. In most of my videos, I show how to take all these things out. But anyways, um, since there's less screws, if you're going to open and close the thing, you want to do it slowly and gently. Okay. So I'm just checking what there is. So this board is for the power button. So it is a removable piece. You got the LCD LVDS connector. If you are gonna mess with the screen connector, you wanna make sure that you remove the battery and press and hold down the power button for about 10 to 15 seconds. You got the fans here. These fans look like you just take out these two screws and then you can pull this connector out and you can take the fan out. All right, you got the connector for the trackpad, the connector for the SD card slot, as well as the USB port. You got the connector here for the LEDs and all this heat pipe for the CPU. So it's kind of nice. They put two heat pipes for and two fans for the CPU. So this laptop should remain pretty cool. Um, there's all these other cables. I'm not sure what that's going into. I think this is for the speakers. So the speaker cable goes here. Another cable runs underneath the board to this speaker. Okay. Then what else? Think underneath here, you got the webcam or uh, the microphone webcam cable. 
and then you got another fan cable here okay and then here we got the ssd or hard drive there's a two and a half inch sata drive to remove that you got to pull this rubber piece out first so get that rubber piece out of the way then just grab the hard drive and pull it back like this okay then you can take the hard drive out so this is a one terabyte ssd that we put in here but this rubber piece it has these little dimples that go into the screw holes so just line it up and put that back on Okay, if you are going to upgrade or change your hard drive, make sure you either cloned your old hard drive to the new one or you're, that you're going to install the operating system like clean with a USB or something like that. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, feel free to mention that in a comment below and I will forward you the video on how to clone your drive and things like that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Slide that in. This side has to go down first. Then you push it, oops, push it in like that and then you can slide this down. So... You want to be careful because this rubber piece kind of can get caught on stuff. So just, again, get that in between the two slots like that. Slide this in. Okay. And then push this rubber piece down behind here. And that will hold the hard drive in place so it doesn't come out. All right. Just like that. Um, if you haven't moved this in a long time, it might be stuck. So you might have to use quite a bit of force. If you can't get it out, you can switch to like a smaller like T8 screwdriver, put the screwdriver in there, and then use the little screw hole to kind of pull the hard drive out. So I'll kind of give you an example. Let me take this rubber piece out again. But basically, you can take your screwdriver with the in the screw hole like that, and then you can use that to kind of use as a way to leverage that out. I'm using the wrong size, so let me switch to T8. Okay, so you can use that, and then you can use that to kind of pull the hard drive out like that. But um, because this ha is exposed on the sides, you can actually just use your fingers to pull that out, and hopefully that will be good enough. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to slide the hard drive back in. Okay, get it lined up, push that back in place, and then put this rubber piece back in. Yep, that's pretty much all there is to this. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, like and subscribe because that will help others find my videos. Again, if you're looking to try and remove a lot of stuff, they're very similar, almost all the laptops, and I've done like so many of these videos. So just watch a few other ones and you'll pretty much get the idea. Almost every one is the same. This connector, you kind of pull it up and then you can kind of like pry the thing up while you're pulling on this. Um, but I don't want to do that because I didn't do the power reset thing. So anyways, you're going to do that, put the cover back on just like this, snap this all in place just like that, okay, make sure you get all the clips back in, okay, and once you do that, you're also going to have to set the date and time back up, okay, uh, because once you pull the battery out, the battery actually also acts as the CMOS or the BIOS battery, um, so keep that in mind, you will have to set up the date and time again. All right, so I'm just going to tighten these back up. And if you're wondering, my thumb started bleeding and it all leaked underneath my nail. So a lot of people complain about my nails. I can't do anything about that. So yeah, I got cut on the side of my thumb and then... All right, so anyways, put all the screws back in. And that's pretty much all there is to this model. Okay. So again, hopefully it helped. This is, I believe, a touchscreen laptop. The touchscreen, um, the touchscreens are a lot more difficult to replace than other types of screens. So um, if you need to replace your screen, a lot of times you have to replace the entire screen assembly. Okay. So let's see here. Am I gonna four and that one? Okay. So this. One. Yeah. So again, if you have to replace the screen, I don't know if I have a video for that on one of these models, but they are quite a pain. Most touchscreen laptops are kind of a pain to replace the screens on because sometimes there'll be two layers and sometimes it'll be like you have to replace the whole piece and those pieces can be really expensive. But anyways, again, that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm gonna power it up, show you what happens when you turn it on after removing the battery. But yeah, hopefully this video helped. Again, like and subscribe, help others find my videos. And if you're not staying till the end, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, got all the screws back in. Flip this back over, open it up. And usually for the hinge screws, I like to put thread locker as well. So I'm going to do that 
Um, but yeah, so powered it on. Here you go. It tells you date and time is reset to default. Press enter to set the date and time. So just do that and then go in here and you can set the date and time to whatever date and time it is. So I don't know that stuff. I just know it's like December, I think 27th, 2020. Okay. Yeah, and then set the time. But that's pretty much it. After that, just save and exit by pressing F10. And yeah, all right. Hopefully it helped. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.